Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Ramanath. I work for the Growth Venture Innovation uh, in Sony. Um, growth Venture Innovation is uh, um, also venture capital. We work with startups uh, uh, in the Valley, but we're also working with our business units, in this case with uh, Smart Eyeglass, um, to get um, not just, you know, I'm, I was so happy to see so many people in the panel today, because I came to AWE uh, two, three years ago, and I, 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 I took a day off, and I thought I'm gonna cover it in a day. Within a couple of hours, I was done. Um, but this time around, there is so much traction. So I'm gonna explain why, why Sony's. You know, Sony's has um, been in the AR and VR uh, for quite some time now. So if you see on the top, that's what um, the most of the discussion today is gonna happen is, uh, there is two sets of glasses that we have, uh, you're gonna go to the show floor and you're gonna see um, the one smart eye glass, which is a, a binocular view, uh, and there is an attached product which you can put it on any uh, existing glasses. And at the bottom, there is a super uh, presence VR uh, product, which uh, if you're going to E3 uh, in LA next, uh, in, in a few weeks, you'll probably see more of the demos of Morpheus. And, and we have been, we've had a head-mount display for many years now. Um, that's the HMZ uh, D3. So the difference between these two is the pursuit is to have um, a, a reality and uh, uh, augmented uh, information on the top, whereas in, in the VR space, we want to create that pure immersion for it to move to another uh, virtual world. So, uh, you know, this is the market. You know, people are trying, it's, it, people are experimenting with various parameters here. You know, there is a, a color to black and white, there's a play whether it has to be monocular or binocular. Uh, we saw a lot of people in the panel talk about cost and weight. Uh, you know, you can put a super high computer on your eye, but it's, it's difficult to wear it. So there is a, there is a cost weight component to a viewing com a comfort, and I think uh, Sony coming from a consumer electronics, that's kind of our main focus is, you know, we want to make sure that this is a, uh, an electronics that you can actually wear uh, on your eyes. Um, and, and we have, uh, and there are uh, some uh, R&D folks uh, from Sony uh, who are in the audience. Uh, Sony has expertise in, in optics and displays for the longest time. So we are we're trying to bring that all together in this, in this new emerging market. So how do, how do we position ourselves in this crowded market? You know, there is a, um, uh, the two products that we are kind of releasing, uh, Smart Glass and uh, the Smart Glass Attach, um, is mostly focused on the lightweight and thin because once you put it on your uh, eyeglass, we don't want it to be too heavy on your eyes. And the second one is the quality of uh, the display. So in the smart attached product, we have uh, a micro OLED, uh, the smallest size that you can get, that you can attach on, and you get a full color OLED display on your uh, uh, smart glass. So the first product is, this is a, a, a binocular um, um, smart glass, very, very similar to what the Epson guys said. Our focus here was to get it it is 77 grams, so it's, um, the package is pretty small, and it's got almost 85% see-through, so you don't see um, a distorted view. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the technologies that we used is uh, the hologram light guide. So um, what we want to do was, when you, when you wear this glass and you can see the demo, um, uh, the user can actually calibrate where he wants to see the information on the glass based on his comfort level. So this hologram guide sends the light and the information is displayed uh, based on where, where he's comfortable viewing. And uh, this is one of the uh, kind of an IP that uh, Sony developed and we have implemented uh, in our eyeglass. So when, when compared to some of the early uh, half mirror uh, uh, implementations, one of the things, the, the things that avoids is the light guide. You know, uh, I don't know if you have people who have worn um, the first iteration of Google Glass, there's so much light diffraction that comes through your eyes. And uh, smart glass being so close to your eyes, you don't want this high intensity light coming at you at, uh, uh, and hitting on your eyes. So with, uh, with our uh, hologram uh, technology, we were able to give that see-through display 85% uh, transparency. So it works with, an, uh, you know, this is kind of a co common feature for all smart uh, glass now. Um, it connects through the, the cloud, through the smartphone. We have all the 
uh, sensors, uh, accelerometers, and light sensors. Uh, and it comes with a controller, uh, which is the main input device. And going through the sh show floor, I was uh, very happy that people are trying different kinds of input, like the eye tracking and so on. That's kind of the future that we are uh, looking at. Uh, I'll probably skip this. Um, so this is a ready product. This is not, uh, we're not smoking anything. This is a, an available product. So um, this is uh, manufactured at, uh, it's mass produced, so you can actually go at this site and order it, and it works with your existing Android devices. Um, it's got an API and sample code, so you can actually try and build apps uh, towards it. Um, this is a feature, some of the, uh, you know, we being Sony, we always try to be on the entertainment side. Um, you know, when you're watching sports, I think one of the person talked about NASCAR, I think that that's one of the features that I would probably want to have in my smart glass when I'm watching live, uh, the Warriors games, maybe. Um, live events, we are, you know, Sony has a lot of music and um, 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 other properties that we want to use smart glass for. So, you know, you can use the social features on top of live events, and that's, that's probably going to be one of the interesting features. The obvious one is navigation. So there is, a, there is an increasing, uh, we've uh, had a lot of um, customers from enterprise coming and asking us um, um, for, uh, we, we've done some trials with uh, Virgin Atlantic. Uh, we, we have tied up with a company called APX Labs, uh, and we're trying different uh, uh, experiences in the enterprise world. Uh, because this is a, the, the comfort to wear it is, 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 is the prime um, Sony design feature, uh, and these enterprise uh, customers are wearing these glasses for three, four, five hours a day. So um, th we have got good reviews that um, the wearability factor of, uh, of these glasses in enterprise is pretty uh, high. Uh, that's um, that's the, the, the link you can go and get the smart glass. The second one is an attached product. Um, um, the, the, the invention that, the IP that led to this product was uh, the creation of this micro um, LED display that we created. It's a full uh, RGB um, uh, display. You can see the technology here. Uh, the first iteration of the convention panel we released uh, a few years ago, the newly developed panel, a uh, micro LED pa panel, uh, lets us to put a full-blown uh, micro LED panel color uh, in the smallest form factor. So um, if you go down to our booth, you can actually see um, um, so the, 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 the concept of this product is to, you can have your regular uh, Oakley or any glasses and you can just attach the product and uh, right on the um, side you get a, a color display. Uh, in, the demo, in the demonstration area we have a, a golf uh, use case where you would clip this on and all the relevant information is coming in color um, uh, on your, on your uh, smart glass. So, these are the specs uh, for, the, for the product. So please come by to booth uh, 15. This is where uh, we have set up a demonstration of both the binocular one and the attached product. Uh, and the, the binocular one is available now for a purchase at this link. Thank you. <laughs>